Today, I'm using some of that pulled pork that I used in the previous video. We're making nachos. Is this a good use for pulled pork? Yo, this is Dash. Get ready. All right, so I have gone ahead and I have the ingredients necessary to make some pulled pork nachos. I try and do like Taco Tuesday. So today I'm actually filming this on February 5th, 2019. And it is a Tuesday. And you know what you do on Tuesdays? Two Tuesdays are for tacos. So I have my pulled pork and I haven't done anything with it just yet. I just took it upstairs and put it in the refrigerator. I have upstairs. And so now what I'm gonna do is take these Doritos. My kids like the sweet spicy chili or spicy sweet chili Doritos. What I'm gonna do is get them spread out on a pan, get those that pan of Doritos out on the trigger. When we were in the market, I told the kids what I was gonna do or what I was planning for dinner and taste test number one asked me he said can you do that on the Traeger yes yes I can I was just gonna do it in the oven in the house but might as well do it outside on the Traeger right so first step let's get the nacho uh, the Doritos on the on the baking sheet Okay, so now that I have my taco, or excuse me, the Doritos on the pan, time to go ahead and get them outside on the trigger. What I normally do is I typically do these in the oven at about 400 degrees. I put the, just the chips themselves in the oven to firm them up just a little bit for about 10 minutes at about 400 degrees. Um, unfortunately, on the trigger, there is no 400 degree setting. There's 375 and there's 450. So I'm going to err on the side of caution and I'm going to put the one at 375 for about 12 minutes. Okay, so I'm back out at Tracy Traeger and I'm getting the glove on. And I have my pulled pork here. I'm gonna take this pulled pork and I'm gonna sprinkle it over top of the nachos at this point. Watch me work. So it's been about another 10 minutes and I wanted to get my meat warming. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add my cheese on top of the meat and let it go for another five minutes or so. Just like that, it's been less than five minutes. My pulled pork nachos are done. And there you go. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this in the house for the kids. Like that? Yeah, it looks really good. Okay. Oh my gosh. 
Mm -hmm. I think so. I don't see why not. It was good. Okay. I definitely want a middle piece because these look delicious. <laughs> hey, can you stop breathing? Oh, yeah, I thought like they look even better on camera. Oh my gosh. That looks good. Yeah. No! Don't touch it. I did. You're on camera, so don't touch it. Okay. <laughs> be in the video. Cut it out. Sorry. Looks really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My mouth is watering. You guys can't even good it looks. Can y'all stop breathing on it? Can y'all not eat, just eat? Can you tell me what you think, please? Okay, I need to get a piece of cheese chip and... All right, hold on, hold on. Take that bite. All right, take your bite. spicy nacho cheese or something like that. Maybe not the sweet chili ones. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Okay, all right, well. Uh, I've also never done it on a trigger. Do you guys feel any extra smoke? Do you taste any smokiness yeah. in the cheese? I taste it in the cheese. Yep, I was gonna I say. I taste it in the cheese, and then I taste it on the chip, how it's a little bit more charred. Okay. Charred, that's the word? Charred. Charred. Well, I tried to set the chips. Whenever you get like a Dorito kit, um, they give you, they tell you to put the, um, they tell you to put the chips in the oven first. So maybe they've been out there a little too long because I, one of the other things too, usually, and <clears throat> one of the other things that I did this time that was a little different from uh, times in the past, the meat is usually warm and I'm not warming the meat on top of the chips while it's out there. So the chips baked out there for about 20 minutes. 
uh, maybe 25 minutes. So maybe that's why they, they, they taste the way that they do. So maybe if you're doing this at home and your meat is cold, just put your meat on top of your chips and then put it out on the, the grill or in the oven to warm before you add your cheese. Once I added the cheese, it took all of less than five minutes for the cheese to melt and get the way that it was. But all in all, is this a success? Is this a good use for pulled pork? Yes. Would you recommend folks to use this or try this on or with pulled pork if that, that they have? Definitely. Can you get down? I want to see what it tastes like with barbecue sauce. You want a little bit that of barbecue sauce? No. That was um, an interest of mine as well. Just like over on this piece. Oh, okay. Yes. So, no barbecue sauce. Ooh, look at the flick of that wrist. I think it's just real. I I taste the um, milk and the chips and the cheese. Okay. I just think the um, the pork is regular. Okay, the pork is good. Mhm. Mm All right. Regular. Regular. So is that is that good or is it bad? It's good. Okay. So then it's not regular. It's good. It's normally good. <laughs> okay. You're just stuffing your face. <laughs> <laughs> he can't even talk. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> All right. I mean, I like nachos, so. Okay. Well, thank you guys as always for helping me out with this. If you want to tell everyone, thank you and thank them for watching. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe. Um, hit the notification bell. Hit the notification bell. Drop a comment down below. Drop a comment down below. And we'll see you next time. We'll see you next time. Bye. Alright. <laughs> uh, well, These are so good. I, I like it. Okay. No, no. Okay, would you like me to do this again? Yes. I mean, I know I do this. I do chips? nachos pretty often. What would you say? Different chips. Different chips. Okay. Yeah, different chips. Yeah. 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 Yeah.